Most of you have probably seen the new Nash type page, and that is the updates page. If you haven't seen it already, I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. When I first found out about it, I thought there would be a button in the navigation bar that we could click on to go to the page, but there wasn't. And that's why I made my own functional updates button in the navigation bar. Even though I could just go through the link or I could just scroll to the bottom of the page and click on that updates button. So if you want to have the updates button in the navigation bar just like I do, that's what I'm about to show you so keep watching. Alright so first go to Chrome Web Store and add the extension Temper Monkey to Chrome. The link will be in the description so you can go straight from there if you want. Once you have added the extension, go to Greasy Fork and add the script called Nitro Type Updates Navigation Button. So click on install this script. And then click on install again here. And that's really all you gotta do. Now go to Nitro Type and refresh the page if you're there already. And there you go, we have the updates button and the navigation bar. Now you can access the updates page easily from the navigation bar, just like any other Nitro Type page. So now you can click on the updates button right here and it will take you straight to the updates page. Let me show you that again. I'm in the garage right now and then updates right here. There you go. Now you might be asking why can't you just go through the link or scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the updates button. Well, you could do that, there's nothing wrong with that, but when the button is in the navigation bar, you're more likely to see it and you're more likely to click on it more often. Because most of the time you're navigating through the navigation bar up here and you're, I don't know, you might be clicking on dealership to buy a car or going to race or checking the leaderboards, whatever it might be. Uh, you're more likely to see the button at the top navigation and time to time you're gonna be like uh, let me click on updates and see what's new and so yeah but when it's at the bottom of the page you're more likely to forget about it even and that's why I think it's better to have the updates button in the navigation bar that way you don't miss out on any updates or you won't be late to see the updates and you've made it to the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, which you probably won't, but if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Oh wait, one more thing. Share this video with your friends or whoever, that way they will know that they can have this updates button too. Or you could just keep it to yourself and, uh, uh, well, no, don't do that.